It is an affirmation that each of us is whole and complete, simply as we are. Each of us knows love and has experienced love, and now in this moment, we are called to be love. To join our hearts together in a collective offering to this couple and to each other. We are asked to remember that love is both of us and beyond us. It is at once innately human and unmistakably divine. As we prepare to fully enter into this space today, let us remember love in the ways that we know and experience it here. For it is indeed here among us, in each of our hearts. Thank you, Regina. Thank you so much. And now we hear also from Mark. Where are you? given the distinct honor of, uh, by Brad and Melanie to be able to read a passage, and it's from the book called The Wheel of Life, a memoir of living and dying. As we pass from this world to the next, know that heaven or hell is determined by the way people live their lives in the present. The sole purpose of life is to grow. The ultimate lesson is learning how to love and to be loved unconditionally. There are millions of people on this earth that are starving. There are millions who are homeless. There are millions who are dying of AIDS. And there are millions of people who have been abused. There are millions of people who struggle with disabilities. Every day, Someone new cries out for compassion and understanding. Listen. Shh. Just calm your hearts and listen for the cry. Hear the call for that understanding and compassion as if it was the most beautiful music you've ever heard. We can all be assured that the greatest reward in our whole life will come from opening our hearts to those in need. The greatest blessing always comes from helping, from giving unconditionally. That is the end of the reading. Noni and Brad said that. Maybe if I wanted to add a few more few words. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Uh, truly, um, this passage, when, when Melanie and Brad passed it to me, uh, it was just, it, it's unbelievably, it, it, it says so much about who Brad and Melanie are. Um, they just, they're such well-grounded people. Their, their, um, their hearts are bigger than themselves. And that says an awful lot about you, Cindy and Bill, and, and you, Ed, and, and you get. Um, as to the raising of two incredible individuals who so much deserve each other. So uh, congratulations to you. Um, the friendship that Brad and Melanie and I have been able to, um, to, to build um, is a short one. It's only been two and a half years, but it's been an incredible friendship. We're neighbors. We live in the same condo complex, and how we became introduced was a... Um, a good friend of mine was visiting from, uh, from Utah. And um, anyway, Brad and Melanie had moved into the condo complex and were, visit, were looking to, to see the, um, the laundry facilities, etc. And in turn, my friend Drew spoke up and introduced himself. And all it took was his finding out that they spoke French because my friend speaks fluent French. So anyway, he comes bouncing back to my place and uh, says, I've met the two most incredible people. And they speak French fluently. You've got to meet them. So anyway, um, shortly before, sh shortly after that, we, uh, we wound up having dinner. And it's been uh, a constant and beautiful growing French friendship from there. So moving forward, I please know it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to know you. And I know, as in the hearts of everyone here, that you are going to have a beautiful, beautiful life together as we have already shared. 
we don't always know what's going to happen when we walk out those doors today, tomorrow, or the next day, but you can bet that the hearts of everyone here are with you every step of the day, every step of the way, today and tomorrow.